rather than spending forty dollars a month on oil, we uh, we spend five dollars every three months for gas and come out here and chop a little wood. Do some people go bowling? We go wood cutting. <laughs> right, gets us outside. Meet people, have a good time. Good. It's uh, getting into the work thing again. A lot of people have gotten away from the hard work. Yeah. Leaving nice hard work. It's good for the system. of wood from the national forest. The trees we cut were all dead wood already on the ground. We didn't cut any live trees down. And by clearing out the forest, by cutting the cutting up the dead trees and taking them away, um, it, it keeps the forest cleaner and makes it easier for young trees to grow.
program is complete until everybody in the whole community is meeting all their needs. When people are working together, they see each other's needs, and they see why they need what they need, and they see what they can do together to solve their problems, or who else they can bring in to help. And when they go out to cut wood, they can see a truck, and they know where there's a truck if they need one for something else. And they see who has a chainsaw, so that if they need a chainsaw to cut down an old cherry tree or something else, then they know where there's a chainsaw. resources are all around us, and in any given neighborhood there are people who can do all kinds of things. There are people who weld, there are people who are machinists, there are people who can build anything that needs to be built. But they don't know each other. They don't know what they can do. They don't know what each other can do. The whole idea of community control is that everybody in the community knows what's going on and everybody can participate in it, and there's no other way you can participate in it except by knowing what you can do and knowing what other people can do.